Hallelujah. So before I say the revelation, this is John chapter 6 from 53. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood had eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and I in him. As the living Father hath sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven. This is not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. Hallelujah. Greetings, beloved saints of the Most High. God bless you all. Thank you all for tuning in. On this channel, sometimes we talk about dreams, visions, revelations, and most times we come together to pray. I just had this revelation on the 20th of July, and this is about five days after. I just said, let me come here and relay this dream. So I just said, let me come here and tell everyone what the Lord revealed to me. Actually, I've been pondering over this whole revelation. It's in three different parts, but I've been able to understand two. So I will try to explain, or maybe I'll just say the way it happened. And maybe somebody can pick up one or two things from it. Praise the Lord. Like I said, this is a revelation that was revealed to me. I don't want you to base your eternal destination on what I am saying. Instead, I will rather point you to the word of God. The Bible says, study to show thyself approved unto God Almighty. A workman that needs not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. So we need the word of God. We need the word even now, most important. The Bible says in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, the word was God, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. Leviticus 17.11 also says, life of the flesh is in the blood. Revelation 12.11 says, we overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. The blood of Jesus Christ is very important in our lives. That's the blood that redeemed us from every curse. That's Galatians 3.13. The blood was shed for us for the remission of our sin. Praise the Lord. The blood was shed for the remission of our sins. Hallelujah to the King of glory. There's reason why I'm talking about the blood, the blood, the blood. So if you just quietly listen, so if you listen, so this revelation, you will see the reason, you will know the reason why I'm declaring scriptures that has to do with the blood. Maybe at the end you will not, you will understand. Praise the Lord. So I'm going to start from the second part. Like I said, this is in three different parts. So I'm going to just jump into the second part. Okay. So please follow me as I go. Hallelujah. So the second part happened like this. First off, it happened that there was so much chaos everywhere and i saw people running people were just running like you see like 10 people running this way 15 running the other way if people see people running this way they just run because there was so much chaos happening before this happened i just was standing somewhere and i was looking at someone the person was suspended in the air this person was suspended in the air very unusual and then I saw another person climbed on top of that person's head and the person was upside down. So two of their heads joined together and two of them, they were floating in the atmosphere. It's very, <laughs> this is different. So both these two people, they were floating in the atmosphere. One's head, one's hairs joined with the other female. And I saw it, it was as if it was super glued together. So these two people, but one that was standing at the bottom 
her feet were suspended and then another woman joined on the top and then another man came on the top of that woman so that one was you know one standing upright the other one standing upside down and the other one standing on top of that one so the moment i was looking at this i was wondering i said what does this mean then all of a sudden that's when these people like i started seeing them running all over the place and then when i looked i saw something very huge like as huge as maybe i would say like a two-story building i first looked at this thing from afar it looked like something like you know blob like liquid you know when you look at cartoon characters you see how they are created so this was looking like a cartoon as if you can see through it that's why i called it blob but very high as high as a two-story building these creatures just appeared from nowhere and then as i was looking at them inside them is as if you can see through them it's as if you can see through these creatures and inside them i was seeing their skeletal tissue you know how you how people dress during maybe halloween time and they put on that kind of outfit that is black you know with the skeletal um diagram that is drawn on it so this was how this blob was transparent but you could see the skeletal figure the skeleton moving inside this blob hallelujah so these creatures they were without um they didn't really have kind of shape i would say so these creatures were just going after humans but before that happened i looked at the sky and there was this huge massive creature in the sky the, the creature was just moving up and down but in my heart what came to my heart at that time was like what is this is this first thessalonians 4 16 that the lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and the voice of the archangel and the trump of god and the dead in christ shall rise first and we that are alive and remain shall be caught up so i was wondering i said is that happening what is happening what kind of event is this so when i saw that and i saw this chaos happening i was just what was coming to my mind was mercy lord lord have mercy lord have mercy because i was just watching all these things happening you know people running and then these creatures going after them this big um like two-story building height that's the height of each of these creatures they were as tall as two-story building they were going after and the moment they grab one person they just squeeze that person the moment they grab another person the person is like the person just disappears that was what i was just seeing okay praise the lord this is not to put fear into anybody but it's just to tell us what the lord revealed to me all right so if you know what it is fine praise god so as i was watching these creatures going after these humans you know just picking them up as easy before 15 people are running and these creatures before you know it they just move they just move and they move so fast and they just catch up with these humans it was very easy for them praise the lord so as i was watching immediately i know the lord just put this in my spirit immediately the lord put this in my spirit right there to say power in the blood of jesus christ please listen to this because i believe there's a time that we're going in and God is not entertaining us by telling me this. You know, when something is happening or something is about to happen, he definitely will warn his own. Praise the Lord. So I believe this is just like a way to warn people and tell them what is coming and how to get prepared for it. So lo and behold, these things were coming and then the Lord put, that, put this in my spirit. He said, I just had power in the blood of Jesus Christ to make me invisible to every evil eye. Power in the blood of Jesus Christ make me invisible to every evil eye. So the moment that impressed in my spirit, I started in the moment the Lord put that in my spirit, I started with, I started declaring it. Power in the blood of Jesus Christ make me invisible to every evil eye. Power in the blood of Jesus Christ because there was I think two or three times I've had this same kind of um, revelation where some people, I saw some demonic entities coming against some people. 
the Lord put this same this same phrase in my spirit power in the blood of Jesus Christ that one he was like power in the blood of Jesus Christ make me invisible to every evil eye I started reciting it I said I started saying it in that revelation lo and behold these entities were coming they came even very close to where I was but I was invisible to them they couldn't even see me I was standing right there I think that one the Lord was teaching me how he was teaching me something so they came very close to me and they couldn't even see me they went round I saw I was just standing and they were looking 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 they didn't see me I became invisible to them praise the Lord hallelujah so the moment I saw this chaos going on the most high put this in my spirit and said power in the blood of Jesus Christ make me invisible to every evil eye the moment I said that I became invisible because I saw some hoodlums coming because you know when chaos is happening in a particular place in a city or a town or a country that's when you see hoodlums coming out from different places mm -hmm. you know just trying to get what they what they can get so the moment I declared that all of a sudden these hoodlums that were coming against us because as I was walking I was walking with a lady and another man like three people three of us were just walking and all of a sudden these hoodlums were coming and I told those people what the Most High was putting in my spirit I told them I said declare these words power in the blood of Jesus Christ make me invisible to every evil eye I said start saying it start declaring it start declaring it and then these two people started declaring it and the moment they started declaring it these demonic entities they came around us these hoodlums they came around us three of us who were standing and they didn't even see us they were going round and round like i thought i saw these people just now they just disappeared what happened and then we were invisible to every evil eye what am i saying here let me pause here before i continue the revelation the power there is power in the blood of jesus christ just like i told us before in Ephesians 1 7 in him we have redemption through what through his blood and what did he do the forgiveness of sins so through his blood we have been forgiven his blood was shed for us it's shed for our, for us so that our sins will be remitted without you repenting and asking him to forgive you without you being washed in the blood your sins cannot be remitted. The Bible says in John 3, 3, you must be born again first off. Praise God. And you must be born of water and of the Spirit. I'm paraphrasing John 3, 5. And Acts 2, 38, it said, repent every one of you and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So what is the gift of the Holy Spirit? Colossians 1, 27, Christ in you, the hope of glory hallelujah praise the lord the gift of the holy spirit is jesus christ coming to dwell inside of you amen so this is what happened let me continue this the the two people that were standing with me they declared exactly what i told them to declare and these hoodlums came and we were invisible brothers and sisters i'm telling you the time that we are going in now if you don't believe in jesus christ if you don't know who he is the bible says that i may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering be made conformable unto his death if you don't know him if you don't know him if you don't know what he came to do if you don't know what why he died for you that blood will not speak for you that blood cannot speak for you it's not just about okay saying okay i am born again I am baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. No, you have to know him for yourself. You know, it's like having a very treasured friend, someone who is very close to you. You know how that person behaves. You know the character of that person. You know what the person loves. You know what the person eats and what the person drinks. This one is stronger than that. This is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. The one who purchased our salvation with his precious blood. A sinless man who knew no sin. 
we have to have a relationship with him we have to learn to know him we have to learn to follow his ways we have to learn to study to show ourselves approved not what somebody is telling us but what we know you know we have to have that knowing in our lives in our heart that there is a savior a redeemer the one who has redeemed us from every curse the one who took took my place and died for me he gave me life the one who washed away his blood washed away my sin i have to know him there has to be a connection i have to know him in a spirit to spirit relationship that is what i'm saying so the moment these people came and they didn't see us they now i think they moved a little bit away and they were still checking to see if maybe we we're hiding somewhere and all of a sudden there was this knowing in my spirit that the lady the other lady who was standing with us that fear came upon her immediately i just got picked that up that fear was came upon her so i quickly just told her i said no 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 don't be afraid don't move don't be scared don't move just begin to declare it that the power in the blood of jesus christ make me invisible to every evil eye i started telling her to declare it but it was too late because she moved and then the fear came and then she became visible to these evil ones and then they came and they just grabbed her what am i saying if you don't understand the bible says not discerning the lord's body that's uh first corinthians chapter eleven twenty nine. not discerning the lord's body if you don't know if you don't know he said if you eat my flesh if you do not eat my flesh and drink my blood you are none of me you cannot be part of me you know he says those that eat my flesh and drink my blood will have eternal life what is his flesh and what is his blood is properly understanding what he came actually to do what he the, the salvation that we have what is it about why are you saved you have to understand it's not when people are saying oh i drink the blood of jesus christ i drink the blood of jesus. then you will keep saying i drink the blood but you, you are saying it just your lips are moving but your heart doesn't even know what it is it's not entering your heart your mind is not recognizing the power and the blood not properly discerning the lord's body you know sometimes some people take the communion and they don't understand what it is sometimes the bible says that's why sometimes some are sick and some are weak and some even sleep meaning they die because they they are not they, they drank they ate and drank unworthily they did not understand what they were doing so they were just doing it going with the flow because other people were doing it praise the lord but this time you have to know know him for yourself you have to understand when he said if i do not go the comforter will not come and the comforter is the holy spirit and this holy spirit will lead you to all truth he will bring all things to your remembrance this holy spirit is your comforter is going to be your guide he's going to guide you to all truth you have to understand it you have to know him for yourself you have to know him the bible says in philippians 1 21 say that it said for to me to live is christ to die is gain you have to know him i'm stressing it because a time is coming those who are who are under the blood those who understand who can discern the lord's body those are the ones that the, the light those are the ones that can be protected in these times these hard times that we are going into so all you have to do if you are already born again praise the lord go and get yourself a bible and study to show thyself approved so as i was saying that woman was grabbed and then because fear came upon her the bible says fear has torment so if fear comes with torment and god and the bible says without faith by faith we were declaring that word and then he said without faith is impossible to please god so with fear you cannot please god 
in fear you cannot please the lord so by faith we were declaring the word by faith we were understanding because we declared it because we understood what it is we knew what he came to do we knew the power that there is power in the blood of jesus christ that there is power there is healing power there is grace there is protection praise god there is protection hallelujah in the blood of jesus christ look at what happened during the time of the children of god the israelites when the blood was put on the lintel and it says when the angel of death is coming when he sees that blood he will pass over that was showing protection that blood was saying no death you cannot go here death you cannot come through here hallelujah that blood was signifying that oh i bought these ones over these ones are purchased with my precious blood these ones are under me these ones i i have them these ones i'm covering them with my blood that is why that is how this blood is it is to us this blood is a form of protection this blood, the moment you allow that blood, you are washed with that blood. You are under the blood of the new and the everlasting covenant. Every other covenant is broken. Every other covenant of marine, covenant of witchcraft activity, covenant of demonic exploitations, covenant of evil. What you did in your past is all dead and gone. Because why? You are having faith in the finished work on the cross of calvary you have faith in that finished work on that blood praise god that is why the blood cannot speak for you if you do not understand just like that lady was caught because she did not understand what that blood was for praise god but she was just declaring it lip service but when fear came fear just grabbed her fear allowed opened the door for the devil to come in to you know take her away the Bible says in Hebrews 12, 24, it says the blood of Jesus Christ speaks. It's speaking. It's speaking. The blood of Jesus Christ speaks better things. The blood can speak for you. The blood can speak protection. The blood can speak healing. The moment the enemy is coming, the Bible says we have, we have put upon our body the mark of Christ. The mark of Christ we have on us, the mark. What is that mark? The mark of the blood of Jesus Christ. So the moment you don't have that mark, you have the opposite mark, which is the mark of the beast. Praise God. If you are not with our Lord and Savior, if you are not under the blood, that means you are outside the blood. That means you are out of the camp. That means the mark of the beast, that is what you are receiving. But if you have received the mark of Christ, if the blood of Jesus Christ is speaking for you, according to Hebrews 12, 24, then there's a shield around you. There's a shield that says, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Hallelujah. There's a shield of God upon you because you are under the blood. You are under the blood of the new and the everlasting covenant. Praise God. So when fear comes, you tell fear to bow because even without you telling the fear, because you have faith in the finished work on the cross of Calvary, that blood will speak for you. The moment the demon of fear is coming, he sees that blood. The moment the demon of um, addiction is coming, depression is coming, he sees the blood upon you. Hallelujah. Praise God. This can only work for you if you have a spirit-to-spirit -spirit relationship. Praise the Most High God. So, as we we're going again, that woman had been grabbed, remaining this man, and we were going. I saw myself going through different places, like I was just zooming past, you know, and the blood was just speaking for me because I was declaring, blood of Jesus Christ, make me invisible to every evil eye. And all of a sudden, there was this person who was coming, this like a stubborn pursuer was just coming after me. And then I got to a high place and I stood there. And the most high, he put it in my spirit and said, say, tell her to sleep now. Because this stubborn pursuer was just following me. And then as the moment I heard that, I should tell her to sleep. I said, 
in the name of Jesus Christ, you will sleep now. And this stubborn person, I was looking at her. She stood at the entrance of somebody's place, somebody's house. And as she was looking up and down, looking the, because I had already said, power in the blood of Jesus Christ, make me invisible to every evil eye. The moment I said, you will sleep now, sleep now, go to sleep, deep sleep come upon you. Immediately this stubborn pursuer went down flat on the ground and boom, slept off. Hallelujah. There is power in the name of King Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There is power in the blood that was shed for you and for me. I know that this is for someone who's struggling. Praise God. Remember what he did for you. Remember that he bought you with a price. Remember he paid it all for you. What you cannot pay, he already paid. He paid the debt we could not pay. I owed the debt I could not pay. Hallelujah. He broke the fetters. He is the one who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we can ask or think or even imagine. This time that we are going in, if you are not under the blood, if you are not bought with a price, if you are not under the blood of the new and the everlasting covenant, you might not, you will not be able to make it. Not that you might, you will not be able to make it. Because there is only one way, only one truth, only one baptism, one faith, one hope. Praise the King of glory. There are not so many ways. The Bible says, broad is the way that leads to destruction. It says, many are finding that broad way. But narrow is the path that leads to eternity. Only few will find that narrow path. The Bible says the word is nigh thee even in thy mouth. Speak it. Declare it. Declare it. Speak it in, from your mouth. Mean it in your heart. Praise God. And remove fear from you. Remember, the power in the blood of Jesus Christ will make you invisible to every evil eye from now on. In the mighty name of King Jesus Christ. Till I come your way again, I remain your sister and your friend. Don't forget, study to show thyself approved unto God. Go and pick up the book of scriptures, the Bible, and begin to study for yourself. Because you will give account of your own self. Shalom.